In this video, Timmy's going to show you how to open a zip file on a Chromebook and extract the files out of it. A zip file is basically like a folder that can store multiple files inside it. But the difference is it's zipped and compressed together, so a computer just sees it as one big file instead of a folder full of smaller files. This makes zip files really useful for uploading and downloading and transferring large groups of files, but it does also make it more difficult to actually get the files out of it when you want to view and edit and use the files. And in this video, that's what Timmy's going to show you how to do. When you're on your Chromebook in the Files app, if you've downloaded your zip file, it will probably be in the Downloads folder, but if your zip file is anywhere else on your Chromebook, that'll be fine. It'll work just the same. Timmy's zip file is right here. And now, once you've found your zip file, all you need to do is double click on it. And now the zip file will open and you'll be able to see all the files in it. So it might be a big long list of files or there might be some folders and then you can double click on the folders and find files inside the folders, or it might just be one file in there. But whatever you see in here, this is what's inside your zip file. But you'll see up here, there's this badge that says read only. And that means you can view the files, but you can't edit them or rename them or delete them or rearrange them or do anything like that. They're sort of just stuck the way they are. So what you probably want to do is drag them out of the zip file into some other folder on your Chromebook. And that will extract them from the zip file and make them completely normal files on your Chromebook. So to do that, you'll need to select all the files in the zip file. And the easiest way to do that is to just hold down the control key on your keyboard this key, and then just press the letter A. And now, as you can see, all the files in the zip file are selected. If you didn't want to extract all of the files and you only wanted to extract some of the files, you could just select specific files in here, but you probably want to extract all of them. So in that case, you'll need to select all of them. And now, once they're selected, you'll just need to drag them out to any folder on your Chromebook. So Timmy's going to drag Timmy's files to the Downloads folder just to make things easy, but you could drag your files to the My Files folder or anywhere in Google Drive or anywhere like that. And then to drag them, just hover your mouse over one of the files. It doesn't matter which one as long as it's one of the selected files. And then on your trackpad, click and hold with one finger in the bottom left hand corner. And then with a different finger, probably from your other hand, drag across the trackpad like this. And as you can see, it's picked up all of those files. So you're now dragging them. And then you'll just need to drag it over to the folder you want to drag them to and let go. And now, it will extract the files out of the zip file and move them into whatever folder you dragged them to. And if you had a lot of large files in the zip file, this process can take a little while. But once it's done, you'll just need to go to the folder you dragged them to, which in this case is the downloads folder. And now you'll see all the files are out here. So all the files that were in the zip file are now out in the downloads folder. And they're just regular files now. So you can edit them and rename them and rearrange them and do whatever you want with them. And now that you've done this, you can actually delete the zip file if you want to, because you don't really need it anymore. The files are all out of it. So if we just single click on the zip file to select it like that, and then click on the trash can button up here. Now the zip file is deleted and all we have are the files that were in it. And one thing you might need to do 
is you'll see, even though we deleted the zip file, it still shows up here as though it's a flash drive or something. But all you need to do is click the eject button and that'll disappear. The zip file is actually deleted anyway. It just shows up there. So you just have to click that and make it disappear. And now you you're done. You no longer have your zip file, but you have all of these files that you extracted out of it. So that's really cool. And that's all there is to that. But if you want to see how to create a zip file and zip a whole lot of files into a zip file, Timmy shows you how to do that in this video here.